Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge. Now, I'm about to do a series of videos and I'm doing something that is a little out of my wheelhouse. Um, so let me explain what, what I'm doing, where I got the idea and everything. Uh, I was uh, fiddling around the other night watching some uh, YouTube and I, I was watching a, a much larger channel than mine. He has like uh, uh, 9 million nine hundred and ninety five thousand more subscribers than I do but uh, he he made a uh, uh, a request in this video which was from like January about some uh, some body armor and so I have decided to give it a shot um, I don't have any affiliation with this channel or anything I want to get this made before I contact him I'm not going to release these videos until after I have contacted them, but the basic premise is I'm going to take several pieces of, of, of steel and make a scale type, try to get it flexible, ballistic body armor plate. Now, before we get into this, I want to make sure that everybody understands this is not for information purposes. This is not for educational purposes. This is strictly for entertainment purposes. If you take anything that I do in any of these videos and try to make body armor and then try and wear it in a gunfight and you get shot, don't come crying to me because that's a terrible idea. If you need body armor, by body armor. So, anyway, this this first video, I am uh, getting my my test material to see if it's feasible out of this material, and uh, so I'm, I'm taking material. I'm giving it different heat treatments. So, let's get going. This is our starting material. This is the bottom of a CO2 tank. It is a quarter of an inch thick. And what the plan is, I'm going to cut about four inches off here, and I'm going to cut it into four squares. This is really too big for my bandsaw, so I'll have to flip it halfway through. cutoff piece I'll mark it four inch squares so I can cut it Got my gloves, got my face shield, got my ear pro. So our 
first test piece. Here are our four test pieces. And uh, I'm gonna give each one of them a different uh, heat treatment. Uh, one of them is, 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 I'm not gonna do anything to. I'm not gonna heat treat it at all. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Uh, the next one, I am going to heat this to critical temperature in the forge and then just let it slow cool just to kneel it. Well, not full and nail it. I'm just going to let it slow cool. I'm not going to bury it in vermiculite or ash or anything. I'm, I'm just going to let it cool at uh, ambient temperature. Uh, the next one, I'm going to heat to critical temperature and quench in water. And then the next one, I'm going to heat to critical temperature and quench it in oil. I'm hoping that the one that is just annealed ends up being the best one for the job because I'm gonna have to change the properties on this um, to get it to be able to overlap to actually get full coverage with it. So, but we won't know until we, we treat them and then go test them. Taking it out of critical temperature range. Now I'll set it there to finish cooling. All my test pieces are heat treated, so it's it's time to do some shooting. Well, all right, y'all. That's where we are at with the material. So uh, it's time to get it out on the range and uh, check it out. So that video will be coming next. Y'all behave yourself.